Media. The view from the other side. Okay, Miss Nikki, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into this. We're going to do a would you rather. So I'm going to give you two options and you just pick one. Got about 10 of them here so we can fly through them. First one, would you rather have your bra flicked from the back or be stabbed by a under bra wire mm, from the back absolutely <laughs> from the back. okay next one strapless bra or no bra at all oh for me it's got to be strapless straight up <laughs> lovely okay next one be seen in a bikini that's too small or be seen picking crumbs out of your cleavage pick crumbs out my cleavage <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next one. Would you wear a T-shirt that says Juicy Melons on it? Or would you wear a T-shirt that reads Free the Boobs while freeing the boobs underneath the T-shirt? Free the boobs. Free the boobs, okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Push-up bra or sports bra? Uh, sports. Sports, lovely. Mm. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Be caught having a nip slip, like a little pop out the bra, or breast leaking milk. Oh, popping out, pop bra, <laughs> you know, popping out the bra. <laughs> popping out. <laughs> yeah, next one. Okay, nipples sucked or whole boob squeezed? Whole boob squeezed. Whole boob squeezed, lovely. Next one, three perfect 1,000 pound bras or 10 free bras from Primark? I'd have to go with the expensive ones because Primark really ain't, <laughs> ain't, ain't it. for me. No. Nope. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Last two. Your partner not care about your breast at all or them being the favourite part of you for him? Not caring at all, to be honest. Not care at all. Okay. Last one. Annoyingly big boobs and a lot of friends. Or annoyingly small boobs and no friends? Uh, <laughs> see, I'd, I'd have to say big boobs and not a lot of friends because that's how it is at the minute anyway. <laughs> <Great up. laughs> I love that. Oh, great. All right. So we're going to move into the first, um, the first, not the topic, the first part is going to be 10 questions about you and your breasts. So the first question is the average bra size in the UK is 36 double D. What is your size? 38 H. Okay, smash the boundary. <laughs> okay. Okay, next question. What is the funniest thing you found in your cleavage? So far, I've heard popcorn is the one. Popcorn. Nah, see, I don't eat popcorn. It, uh -huh. I don't know. Nah, probably crisps. It's probably crisps because they're the things that I tend to eat the most. Okay. I'll get undressed. And, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Third question. Breast size is hereditary. So do you get yours from your mum, your gran, your great gran, or are you just the blessed one in the family? It must have come from my grandmother because my mother, she don't have none. So it comes uh, from my grandma. It skips, skips the gen. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four. Not all breasts are created equal. They say that the left one is normally the bigger one. Is that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Had a couple, had a couple women tell me they had to think about it. And I was like, don't you look at them like often? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I don't know. No, it's all right. <laughs> all right. Fifth question. Sagging is inevitable. How would you fix this? If you if you had the money, 
would it be boob job or would you just live with it? Um, I'll be, I wouldn't, when I say, see, now it depends. See, you wouldn't need a boob job. You'd just need a boob lift. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you see what I'm saying? You wouldn't need to go full out and have a boob job. You would literally just need a lift. So oh. I would probably, without a doubt, just get a lift just, just to lift. bring them up. Yeah. They just schooled me there. See, I didn't even know that there was like a, a middle ground. So there's like, yeah. let them go, lift, and then full job. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. See, learning. Number six, how often do you notice guys staring at them? And does it upset you or does it make you feel sexy? Uh, I mean, summertime, it's inevitable, to be honest, <laughs> because they're there. They're just <laughs> there. Um, it don't upset me because the fact of the matter is they're there. They're, they're just there and yeah. that you know what i mean they're there not that it's there to be seen but you can't help but look i have women looking at my breasts Facts. so that's, it's that's a case it, yeah. of crack on <laughs> you know crack on crack on <laughs> great okay number seven do you excuse me do you like one more than the other if so which one and why <laughs> No, I like them both the same. <laughs> no. It's all love. It's all love. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Number eight. When was the last time you got fitted for a bra? And where would you recommend other women go? Right. The last time I got fitted for a bra was in London several years ago. And I got it done at Bravis Bravissimo. Okay. That's in Oxford Circus. Um, they are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Their bras are a little bit pricey, but the fit is 100. The fit is accurate. Can you so take so you, you can take um their size information and go shop elsewhere and it'll be and it'll be good. Is that what you mean? As in their their sizes is good or their measurements? No, see Bravissimo, they actually cater for the bigger busted woman. Uh huh. You see okay. what I'm saying? They cater for the big busted. So now you could have your size, but if you go Primark or Tesco's, they're not going to cater. They ain't uh, got those sizes. Okay. So, Bravissimo to get measured, but I also get all my bras now um, from Ann Summers. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so you definitely recommend them then to for for well for bigger breasted women to for go bigger there. breasted women absolutely Bravissimo or Ann Summers. Okay, no, it that's good. See, I didn't even know. Yeah, and someone see, just think that's the you know the no the naughty side of stuff. The naughty side, but no, yeah. their their bras are wonderful, and their the prices um they're not even that expensive. Like they're not expensive. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, number nine. Do you think there's such a thing as an ideal size breast? And if you do, what size is that? And what size would you would be your ideal size? Um. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I've always been big breasted, you know, from a teenager, but obviously having kids that just enlarged them over the years and then obviously gaining a bit of weight. So for me, I will be honest, for me, the ideal bra size for me, ideally, would be around a double D. Ideally, a double D would be ideal, but I'm beyond that. <laughs> and I just work with them at yeah. the minute, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, last question in this block. In general, are the men that are attracted to you boob guys or booty guys, would you say? Boob guys. Boob guys, yeah? Yeah. I think that's probably because that's the first thing they bloody see anyway. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's the end of that block. We're going to move into one of the topics. was your experience with men and your breasts like do you have a story like from your teens because you said you had them from like early age or you know going raving going clubbing going carnival is there any any story you've got of guys being a little too excited or anything like that or has it been smooth sailing i'll be honest it's been smooth sailing to be honest i mean the guys I like, that i, I like knew hearing that yeah <laughs> like it's been smooth sailing a lot of people thought i'd had implants uh -huh. because obviously they've known me from young teenager and having just 
Oh, as in, then, as, in, as in from a teenager, they thought you had them as a teenager, as in got no, implants? No, they thought as I got older, as I hit, oh. say, my late 20s, early 30s, my boobs had increased, you know, by one size, two sizes. So people would assume that I'd had breast implants and it literally was a case of, I swear to God. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> it hasn't happened. They have literally just grown as I've had kids and as I've put weight on. And I've lost all the weight, but the boobs still stayed. Okay. So yeah. that was it. A lot of people just used to think she's had breast implants. And, I, you know, where the hell did I get money to get <laughs> implants from in the first place? Was that, mostly, than that, was that mostly men or women or a bit of mix of Women. Women. Because I think women. back then, you know, maybe 10, 10, 12 years ago, a lot of hating going on yeah, regarding yeah. size yeah. boobs and things like that. So yeah. it was a lot of women. Men loved it, obviously, you know. Of course, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, it was mostly, you know, the, some men, mostly some men the females. Like, they, like, they, like, they like fake rubes. Some men like yeah. right. So, you know, I'd be like, yeah, let me feel all that could be a way for them. And to I'm that kind of woman that would say, go ahead, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Just to make you understand that it's all real. And it's so, all real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. All right. Well, I'm glad it was smooth sailing, really. So that's good. That's a good look. So we come off that one. Next one is about self-checks and mammograms. So have you done a self-check before? Um, I check my breasts regular on my own anyway. Um, there is cancer in my family. Uh -huh, so okay. I do check. I've not actually gone and had a mammogram yet, but I think with my age, as I'm approaching and getting a bit older, I think I will be called in to have one of those, you know, in the near future. Because like I said, there is cancer um, yeah. in my family. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you do do your own. When was the last time? Yeah. As in you do it off, it's often that you do it. I do it every day. I do it every morning. Oh my God. I do it Straight. every morning. Lovely. That's excellent. That is excellent. I was going to say, if you've had a mammogram, would you recommend it? But you're already saying that you're, you're looking to to do yeah. it. Anyway. Yeah, because crazy. I was watching a video. It was there was a younger, a younger black girl. And she was saying that it could affect like, black women earlier. But they only yeah. like, they only give you a shout, like start sending out letters after maybe 35, but definitely after you're 40. Then they'll be yeah. like, come and have one. I'm trying to find, a, there's a video that I want to check out. It's just, a, it's a bit long, but it's, it's a woman talking about that it's bad. Of um, course it is. It is. Um, it shouldn't, right, you they're, know. They're squashing them. And then also I found out, because I watched, I watched a video of women getting it done for the first time and a woman was pregnant. So they couldn't Ooh. do it that way. They had to use the ultrasound. And I was like, so why don't you just use that for everyone? Yeah. Get me? Why are you squashing and making women feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Long, but... Yeah, they got their methods for their, their reasons, but I definitely want to find out why they're saying it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, yeah. I'm trying to promote, like, go go get it done and do your checks. Yeah, definitely. You know, I want to say mm. go get it done if it's a bad thing. You know what I mean? So a little, yeah. little, bit, more, little bit more checks on that. But yeah, I'm glad that every day, you're, you're, Nikki, you're on top of stuff, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Love that. All right. So let's move to the last topic before we hit the last block after that. is going to be advice for boob guys <laughs> like myself. Is there a respectful slash flirty way that a man could look at a woman's breast without like getting on her nerves, getting like, or being annoying or being the creep guy? Is there a way? I mean, yeah, help. <laughs> you've just got to be, you've just got to be subtle really with it, you know, because sometimes it depends on what we're wearing, you know, how revealing it is. Um, but then you've got, you could just be wearing a basic t-shirt or a hoodie and they're just there. They're just there. Um, yeah. I mean, I think in that kind of, in those kind of clothes, like I said, it just really doesn't phase me in any shape or form. You know, they're looking and as long as they're not making any crude comments, because you know, I'm a grown woman. I'm not yeah. a kid. I'm a grown woman for God's sake. I've been there, exactly. done it, got the t-shirt. I mean, 
Like, but what I'm saying is, I get then, asked a lot. You know, what yeah. size are they? I used to get offended by that years ago. Someone saying, "Oh, how big are they?" I used yeah. to be like, "Seriously, like, come on now." Now, when they ask, I just tell them straight <laughs> because chances are they ain't even got a clue anyway. A lot of them yeah. ain't got a clue about ain't got a clue. you know sizes in the first instance. They just hear the letter all oh, H, and it's like, wow. Yeah, um, yeah, after, they are after big. It's double but... D's. Yeah, after it's double D's, it's like. <gasps> And literally, not, like you say, if you say, I bet you there's not much that they can even say back. What can they say back? No. They'll be like, uh, wow, right. there's nothing. That, there's That's nothing. it. You know, yeah, you close, took the power. You took, yeah, you took the power out of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you took the juice out of it. Yeah, that's exactly it. So just so basically, just be. Uh, it's well, weird to say. Be, be, be polite. <laughs> be polite about okay. it, but. Be polite be and be honest about what it is you're actually looking at. You know, boobs are boobs, for God's sake. Yeah. We've all got them. They come in different sizes, different colours. They're bloody boobs. <laughs> if there's a genuine question that a guy really wants to know, just ask it. Yeah. But do it, you know, not in a crude way. Just as in, as a com as in conversation. Just ask whatever it is you want to know. Depending on the woman will depend on what response you get. True. Very true. Very true. So would you place the guy who's staring versus the guy who has the, the quick glances? Are, are, is it the same thing? Does it? Are they the same? Is it the same? Or is one? Is well, the, the one other? that does the quick glance and, and looks, I laugh. Because I find that <laughs> funny. Like, I find... I'd I say that's, but that's the, because I know the what majority. That would be the majority, isn't it? That's the yeah. Majority. It's like yeah. they, they uh, want to look, but... Some of them are like, they're looking, but oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. I find yeah. it hilarious. Then you've got the ones that literally are just staring. You know, it's like, do you want a picture? <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's why they don't know where to look. You're like, oh God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, All right, so we're going to move on to the last block before we get to the challenge. So this last block mm -hmm. called Ask a Breast Owner. So it's going to be a little yin and yang to these questions. So the first question is, what is your favourite thing about your breasts? Um, at the minute, it's just... Um, you know what? I can't... I'm going to be honest, and I can't even give you an answer. What's the favourite <laughs> thing yeah. about my <laughs> <laughs> probably, I'll be honest, it's probably just the way they look in certain item, items of clothing. Items you know, okay. they voluptuate your body, you know. I thought you were going to say in certain lighting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in certain, certain clothing. clothings, um, they just look amazing. You know, I do look at certain pictures and I'm like, that's a great pair you got, Nick. That's a bangy <laughs> pair. You know what I mean? So, And it's how they make you feel as a woman as well. Because to be honest with you, come on, let's be honest, like, boobs, like I said, nine times out of ten, other than the face, that's the first thing you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can ha so it's, yeah, it's, it's how it makes me feel, but I suppose it is also how it makes, you know, the man feel the as man well. Feel. Okay. Literally. Yeah. 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 No, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I like that answer. All right. Next one is, what's your least favorite thing about your breasts? The fact that I do struggle to find clothes to fit, fit correctly in order to get the breast to be, you know, to look proper without wearing a shirt where the buttons are popping. I've got to go like a dress or two sizes up. So it's awkward because I'm not a size um, 16, but I have to get like a size 16 just so the top half is comfortable in, right. do you know what I mean? So yeah. that's the problem. If oh. I get my correct size, it ain't going up. It don't <laughs> fit. It won't go on and it won't do up. So it's just having to get extra size clothes just to make the breast work. I hear ya. I hear ya. Okay. Third question. What is, what turns you on when it comes to your breasts? Be honest with you, not a damn thing. <laughs> Seriously. Not a damn thing, because as much as they're mine and they're as big as they are, I'll be honest with you, I think they, they are the least sensitive part of my body. Do you see oh, what I'm saying? Like, okay. 
it if, takes you think a that's lot. That's, breastfeeding. Did you breastfeed? I'm assuming. <laughs> I breastfed all five of my kids. Yeah. I was it so? All what five. Do you think, was it? Uh, it happened, or it's always been that way? Like it's never been a thing for you. Like, never been a thing for me. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. You know, I will allow, I'll, I'll allow them to be played with, you know, for the other, other person's satisfaction. But for me, it's just like... Nothing. Nah. You see? That's nah. crazy as well, because <laughs> I learned about... And I've got a video. Um, This woman, she's a sex therapist, and she was talking about breast orgasm. I was like, what? And then she was talking about, yeah, you got to do it. Like, she was showing the methods and everything, maybe like 25, 30, 30 minutes. <laughs> I told my <laughs> missus, and she was like, that's too long. <laughs> and I was like... Nah. Oh, wouldn't that, work for me. That's what the sex expert said. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work for me in any bloody shape or form. Yeah, see, you're like, I'm starting to, the more women I talk about this now, is more that don't really care. It's like, I, I was so shocked. I'm like, what, for real? But all right, anyway. <laughs> so mm. what turns you off about your breath? Did they ask you that already? Did they ask you they that? just get in the way. Sometimes they <laughs> just get in the way. They just, they just broad get in the blinking way. <laughs> is that on a day to day running. normal you mean normal day to day they get yeah, in the way no, you know even trying to sleep you know uh, i want to lie on my I, hear that. I heard that I've it's heard not that. happening it's uncomfortable so it's either lie on my back which i hate doing or i've got to you know sleep to the side they're just getting, they just, they just they, get in the blinking way you gotta hold them yeah they get yeah, in the way i know oh <laughs> damn it yeah there's a downside i guess all right number five halfway through this one what is your favorite breast word? I.e., breast, tits, boobs, tatas, melons, um, coconuts, bosoms, bosoms, go bosoms, bosoms, <laughs> bosoms. Okay, all right. Number six. What is something you love to hear about your breasts? I suppose the fact that I've had five children and I have breastfed, even though you know, as you said, they do sag. Um, they're still, I've, you know, I've been told that even though once I take my bra off, they do drop, but they actually say that they drop, but they don't sag. Um, uh -huh. so in retrospect, they've still got a, a quite a nice shape to it, even without the bra on. Okay. Yeah. So you, you'd like to hear that. That's what you'd like to yeah, hear. Someone say like. I yeah. hate to be, you know, who wants to be told saggy boobs? We know we've, we know we've got that's them. The, but... That's the next question. What is something <laughs> you'd hate to hear about I hate your breasts? saggy boobs. Like, come on, yeah. I'm a mother. Have I you can't... ever been told that, though? Has anyone ever said that? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, your yeah, boobs. I don't, you know. I don't mean as in, I mean, not like some online uh, hate, as in someone you've been with said to you, ah, oh, like, they're saggy. Yeah. Obviously, oh. he, he tried to make out like it was in a jokey way. It probably <laughs> was because, yeah, you know. But instead in jest and all that, yeah, I don't like that. It was just, but that. It, was kind, it did kind of put me off because I continued, I wouldn't take my bra off. See what I'm saying? There you go. See what That's I'm saying? What I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I stopped taking my bra off. I used to have my bra on. But then it got to the point where it was a case of why I've got the bra on. So maybe my brain was just, do, you know, maybe I was overreacting because after a while, He'd maybe. be taking it off and saying, what are you being stupid for? Do, 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 do. do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So you know, maybe for real, he was joking. And yeah, yeah. now you're letting, now, yeah, he lost the blessings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, all right. Down to the last three. If you can, whose breast other than your own would you like to, would you like to own? It's a weird question, but because women have so many, uh, sell uh, they're, they're out there. So yeah, no, <laughs> Selma Hayek. The actress Selma Hayek. Now she, yeah. she's got a great pair. Yes. Whether she's had work done on them or not, Who she's knows? got an awesome. She's got an awesome <laughs> pair. Definitely. She's, she's got an awesome pair. Okay. Next one. It's going to be the opposite to that. Whose wouldn't you like to have? Um, probably someone like Lizzo. Oh, okay. I can't even. Th I know who she is, but in my mind. I can't even see. I can't. I can't picture it. Are they not? Are they small? Yeah. Or? No, they're massive. Like they're. Oh, massive. oh okay. Like they're, they're over. You over. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What about going the other way? Could you be happy if you was like flat cup A? No, no. I will be one hundred percent with you. 
if I was flat chested or like a A cup, even a B cup, I'd have to contemplate enlarging my breasts because yeah, no, 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 uh -huh. okay. I'm not you. I, I I just don't think I could cope with that because I'm not used to having. I've never really had small small yeah, bosoms. You know, yeah, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> so I don't know what it's like. So if I was ever put in that situation, I think I would actually be devastated. Insane. Okay. That's my, you know, that's my personal. I think I would actually be devastated like that. Wow. But yeah, who so knows? It might mean. Yeah, the first one. I'll be no. devastated. Yeah, no, that's yeah, real. I think I'd be devastated. Okay. This last one before we go into the challenge. Last question. If there was a naughty heaven and it existed, what would you like to hear the naughty man slash woman that's standing at the gate allowing you in to say to you about your breasts as you walk in? So it opens the golden gates. What do you want to hear? Just come through with those <laughs> lovely, lovely, with those lovely melons, right? It's right. It's like Again, with those lovely they're melons. Gonna be They'll be heading through the gate before the rest of me. You know, <laughs> yeah, they'll be there already. <laughs> they'll be there already. <laughs> uh, Nick, excellent. Okay, we're just going to wrap it up now. So time for the challenge, which is can you remove a bra from underneath a jumper without taking off that jumper? Can okay, well, I'm not taking off the jumper. I'm taking off my dressing gown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I've been told this is an easy challenge, but I've seen one person struggle. <laughs> yep. We'll see how that goes. Let's say, catch it, get it. Don't worry about it. I appreciate you, Nick. Thank you very much for taking part. Lovely. Been excellent. All right, darling. I'll see you soon. Oh, well, I'll get that video soon and then Definitely. we will talk. All right, then, All right. See you later. Take, Take care. care.